A good morning to everyone. We are live from Digital Address GA0992539 in Kokomimli Accra. On DSTV, we are on channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. Welcome to Joy News Interactive. Follow us, like our page on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are Joy News on TV. Um, Selinam Ampo. And yesterday, all national attention was focused on Parliament House as the Finance Minister Ken Oforiata presented the mid year budget review to the people's representatives. The build up to the presentation was one of mixed expectations, but as the minister said, they are, they are a listening government. Let's take a listen. Government in 2018 introduced a luxury vehicles levy to raise revenue. We have noted suggestions from the general public on the implementation of this tax. And Mr. Speaker, as a listening government, we are proposing to the House the withdrawal of the luxury tax levy. We will. We will, Mr. Speaker continue to improve compliance, expand the tax nets, and explore other innovative sources of raising revenue. Well, as you heard him, there'll be no more luxury tax. Well, across segments of the society, and especially in the media, there have been heated debates, as the review suggested, there will be some tax increments on communications. Communication service tax. The communication service tax was introduced in 2008 at an ad valorem rate of 6%. The tax is levied on charges payable by consumers for the use of communication services. Government proposes to increase the tax. Government proposes to increase the tax to 9% to develop the foundation for the creation of a viable technology ecosystem in the country from 6%. This will comprise, among others, putting in systems to identify and combat cybercrime, protect users of information technology, and combat money laundering and other financial crimes. The increase will not be earmarked, however. The sharing ratio will be adjusted in such a manner that the National Youth Employment Program continue to receive the same proportion as they are currently receiving. Well, have your expectations been met? Are you ready to pay more? Let's take a look at what social media had to say. And the fine, this is Nat Tete. He says the finance minister is requesting a 6.37 billion Ghana city more of our hard earned money so he can throw more kinky parties and so white and um, Hashtag 2019 media budget, hashtag killer tax budget. And killer tax budget, um, Ghana already has one of the highest data rated in Africa, but the finance minister thinks everyone owns a bank and a funeral home. So he's decided to increase it by 50%. Hashtag killer tax budget. And Okata Chie Kofi says, Anana Kufado now agrees that sewage trucks are not luxury vehicles and so won't be taxed. In fact, what they carry is the opposite of luxury. Now, Ken Oforiata has decided to increase tax on the fuel they use. Prepare for more sewage stench in your area. Hashtag drop the killer taxes now. And Emmanuel Amwako Hene says, once we want development, then we have to be ready to pay more. Anthony Anani says, um, it's just unfortunate that people who promised to scrap taxes are now introducing an increase in taxes. God save our homeland, Ghana. And Abdul what, Marie, Mar Marizuk um, regime says, um, there was no sense in the budget read yesterday, just removing this tax and later fixing it somewhere. Seidu Kumbil says, secure data and um, digital infrastructure. What does that even mean? Just be man enough and increase the tax. Don't hide behind deceptive slogans and terms. 
Eric Kojo Amankwa Jr. says tax increase in what at least the poor will benefit from the tax removal for the rich. That's the luxury vehicle tax. The voice of the rich was heard. How about the poor? This government pa here. And Yesu Tozola says, for the where, pay more for what? Kwesi Opong comes in with the comments. He says, we need production, not taxation. And Akpalu Akpa says, digital infrastructure, then no problem. But the telcos are cheating us too much. And Good Love Okansi says, if you can't pay, just throw your phone away. Well, however, we just watched the minority in Parliament. We just held a press conference on the media budget review. If you hop onto our social media platforms, you would see the hashtag killer budget is trending. And let's read some of the comments that came under that hashtag. And this is Shay Esk. He says, government increased communication service tax by 9% in the hashtag killer tax budget. Call the data, call and data credits go run like water. We will soon start letter writing again. And citizen Kwesi Felix says, we are only engaging in the repetition of grammar. You have raised bonds, borrowed, and laid more taxes, yet we can't see any improvement. Hashtag killer tax budget. And Mohammed Naziru says, hashtag killer tax budget, we are in a mess. And Abnao Usu tweets, she says, hashtag killer tax budget, with all the money we see, you are still taxing Ghanaians. Show us what you have done with the money. Hashtag killer tax budget. And Ignatius Paul Afote says, oh sorry, engineer Paul Afote says, whether you like it or not, you pay more call, you pay more call and fuel, you pay more call and fuel tax. That's um, from Akufado. He's saying it's from Akufado. Hashtag killer tax budget. Um, Ama Taylor is tweeting, um, she's um, sending us a tweet from Leslie Bohene. She says, the citizenry are wide awake. And um, Leslie's tweet reads, so this government brought about the luxury tax and now they are proposing to the house to have it scrapped off, um, creating a problem and solving it to look like heroes. Hmm. Hashtag media budget 19. And um, Patrick Azoya says, I actually didn't care to listen to the budget yesterday, and I didn't because I knew it was not going to be anything new. But now I think I care. Hashtag killer tax budget. And um, Patrick Azoya says, was there anything about employment in the budget? Tax, tax, tax is all I'm hearing everywhere. Hmm. Well, you heard it right. Everybody's talking about this media, this year's media budget review. Anyways, let's take a short break. We'll be back with more stories. <laughs> Welcome back from that short break. You're still watching Joy News Interactive. Now, let's talk about, you remember Patapé's Scopa to Mana Challenge? Well, it is the name of um, a song by Ghanaian artist Patapá. It doesn't mean anything in particular, at least not in any Ghanaian language, but it has been given the meaning, what is your opinion on this matter, by Ghanaians on Twitter. As an inside joke, actually, if you're an active social media user, you might have spotted the phrase Scopa to Mana being used a lot suddenly. While many have since participated in the viral meme trend, many are still trying to figure out what is this all about. Let's take a listen to this young man from the US. Hey, Slim, like, I get it. I swear I do. But damn, do we got a, a scalp? Patumana, scoop, putimani, however you say it. Do we got to do that for everything? Every time I hop on the timeline, it's a new scoop to Patumana. Scoop to Patumana, collard greens. Scoop to Patumana, leaves. Scoop to Patumana, cutting your grass. Scoop to Patumana, mackerel. 
Well, it seems the world is tired of our scope, scope pattern manner challenge. Anyways, you can hop onto our social media platforms, watch that video, and share your comments. Are you tired of seeing scope pattern manner on your timeline? Anyways, let's time, let's have us to do our Tuesday thoughts. You know, on Tuesdays, we love to know what you are thinking. And Taiwo says... Taiwo says, it's a new day, step out of your comfort zone, go out there and take a risk. May all odds be in our favor. And Godwin says, the challenges of life aren't meant to pull you down, it's meant to get you back on track. Success is the ability to go from failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. Don't concentrate on what you think you can't do, just do what you can. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts and M.M. Obono says a lot of young people need to have conversations with people in their 60s and 70s. That way they will appreciate their strength, the, the strength they have now and the good health they enjoy. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. And Trajectory Unknown says, have a good life all. Remember before all, um, be kind to one another not nice nice is false be kind sincerely hashtag tuesday thoughts and chris dimaro says a challenge worth accepting become who you believe yourself to be hashtag focus hashtag tuesday thoughts and salman kirishi says the hardest prison to escape is in your mind. Hashtag Tuesday morning. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. Um, John Ma says, grow through what you go through. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. Hashtag Tuesday motivation. And Jack Knight says, your present circumstances don't determine where you can go. They merely determine where you start. Hashtag Tuesday motivation. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. Now it's time for us to show you our video of the day. For some of you, this is the message. Never celebrate or give up too soon. Watch this. <laughs> God does work in mysterious ways. Now let's go back to our Skopatumana topic. You remember we were talking about Skopatumana, Patapa's song that has gone viral, but not uh, because of the song, but because people on social media are using us. What is your opinion on this matter? Well, watch the video of the gentleman. Let's take you onto social media to read some few comments of people on social media. Caleb says, another day of Scopa to Mana. Somebody, anybody, stop it, please. And Maui says, then like the Yankee people all wear them, they drag the Scopa to Mana, just go lost, then appear for some suede root junction. And Guys, Scopa to Mana is old. Let them retire. Get a new trend. And this is a, she says, genuine question, what does it mean actually? I've been confused for the entire week. And Adnan Dawa says, actually, I was told that this Scopa to Mana means an inside joke. But what that father did is an upside down joke. Let's go back to that young man who was asking Scopa to Mana what? Let's let's watch that video of that young man from the US. Hey, Slim. 
Like, I get it. I swear I do. But damn, do we got a, a scow, patumana, scoop, putimani, however you say it. Do we got to do that for everything? Every time I hop on the timeline, it's a new scoop to patumana. Scoot the pot mana, collard greens. Scoot the pot mana, leaves. Scoot the mata mana, cutting your grass. Scoot the pot mana, knock. Scoot pot mana everywhere you go, even more than empty. And anyways, it's time for us to wrap up on the show. Joy News Interactive. You've been watching with me, Selinam Amput. Do stay tuned for more stories on other bulletins and have a blessed day. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll